Hi there, my name is Bill Warner and I'm with Entredot. When I think about integrated marketing, I'm thinking more process than the other uh, more administrative things of, about planning and strategy and things like that. But once that's all established, there's got to be a way you go about this that gets into the weeds of three major subjects that I'm considering those are the ones that have to be integrated. The first is you have to create awareness that you exist. Awareness in the eyes of the of the of the people, the prospects or potential customers, whatever you call them, uh, the awareness they have for your products and services that you think will fulfill the needs that they have for whatever product or service you provide. You create awareness. And you do that in all sorts of different ways through an outreach. This could be email campaigns, referral campaigns, going to networking events, uh, <clears throat> social media posting, uh, advertising online, and the list goes on and on and on. The important thing is whatever ones of those you select have to be exactly the ones that these potential customers really watch for. You need to understand how they get information about new products and services and deliver it the way that they're accustomed to do it. That's often that's Google searches, uh, participation in LinkedIn and Facebook, and things like that. But don't forget, probably one of the most important is by referral through people that you know, and the list goes on. Creating awareness, that's the first thing. Second is, once this awareness is created, guess what every one of them is going to do next? It's going to check you out. They're going to evaluate you and your business. Where are they going to do that? They're going to go to your website. So don't tell me you don't need a website or it doesn't matter what it looks like. It really does matter. If it's a piece of junk and incoherent, they're going to conclude you don't know what the heck you're doing. Why the heck would I, would I want to do business with you? So you've got to have a website that's pretty attentive and pretty complete and compelling as to what services you perform and how you do it and how they would engage with you. They're also going to check other sources. They're going to kind of look at your social media posts and say, what the heck does this guy really do in his spare time? And they're going to go to LinkedIn profiles and other sources of information, way short of doing background checks and things like that. So that's the second thing. You've got to be there ready for them to take a look at you and, and stand, uh, stand to muster the, the uh, uh, having them take a look at you and checking you out. I'm kind of mumbling here a little bit. But the third step is some form of conversion. All that means, it's a fancy word, meaning you're going to qualify them as leads. Now, depending on the kind of business you have, have the qualification could be as simple as click and put it in my shopping cart, boom, done. Marketing time is over, now you're in sales. Or if you're in a consulting business or any other form of service, there's going to be a, a discussion that occurs that you need to qualify them as uh, qualified prospects that you want to spend time with and move them on into your sales process. Now, this is what integrated marketing means to me. This article uh, adds a whole lot of other dimensions to it that are going to be useful. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, this ends my, uh, my just brilliant presentation on marketing strategy, which most marketing experts are going to be laughing at because it's so simple. But I can't handle this stuff unless it's simple. I'll bet you're the same way. So hope it helped. Have a good day. Talk to you soon. Again, my name is Bill Warner, and I'm with Entredot.